kids, happy day five of VBS. My name is Aisha and I am your host for Rocky Railway. I am so excited to be here with you. We are halfway done our week, but there's five more days to go, so I'm so, so excited. If you have been having fun at VBS, let me hear you toot your train horn. Toot toot! Hey, was that silence? Did you hear anything? Are you guys not having fun? Let's try that again. If you are having fun at VBS Rocky Railway, toot your train horn. Choo choo! Oh my gosh, so many trains. Okay, I believe you guys are having fun now. Why don't we get up and sing our first theme song, Your Power Will Pull Us Through. Let's sing. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting. Anybody ever picked up a magazine or a newspaper? If you have, let me see you put a thumbs up. Okay, so some of you. A newspaper is probably not your favorite thing to read because it's a lot of words, first of all. And unless you're kind of reading the comic stuff, it might not be fun for a kid. Newspapers are actually very, very important to find out what's going on in our world. The first section is usually full of big, important news like maybe what's going on in Canada or America or politics and it's a lot of big stuff. But then there's also articles and stuff about sports and business and like I said, the comic section. If you basically want to know what's going on in our world today, you should read a newspaper. 
And so for thousands and thousands of years, the newspaper was the way for us to find out what was going on in our world. Otherwise, we, had, we didn't have cell phones, we didn't have television or radio, but the, ta- the newspapers were the very first ways for us to know what was going on. They have been around a very, very long time, back before we even had cell phones or Twitter or Instagram or any other kind of social media. Newspaper companies would actually hire kids just like you, and they were called newsies. They would stand on the corner of of the corners of their towns and their villages, and they would say, extra, extra, read all about it. And then people would rush over, and they'd say, hey, kid, can I have a newspaper? And so that's kind of how people were able to get newspapers or to learn about what was happening. You know, the newspaper reminds me of something that we need to share with others, and that is the good news of Jesus Christ. Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus, that was the story, he, he came to be with us, and he, he came to live with us, and share things with us, and eat with us, but even though it's 2,000 years old, it is still new today. Do you know why? It was because the things that Jesus does are still new. He is still changing people's lives every single day. And even though we have the printed word of God, the Bible, Jesus still wants us to tell his good news to everyone on every corner of every town and every city. Jesus, in Matthew 28, verses 19 to 20, said something, which is basically called the Great Commission. He told everyone, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And that is what we need to share with everyone. We need to share that good news. We are God's newsies, in a way. He wants us to be on every corner and to share this. So our Bible point for today is that Jesus' power helps us be bold. He helps us be bold so that we can share this good news with everybody without fearing or being afraid of anything. So let's get up and let's sing a song called Everywhere We Go because Jesus' power helps us be bold everywhere we go. Let's sing.
much fun learning our Bible Memory Buddies and meeting so many awesome animals. I'm so excited to know who are we, who are we meeting today. You know what? I know the best person to help us. Hey, Malik! Oh, hi, Aisha. Hey. Hi, kids. So today's Bible Memory Buddy yeah. is Sierra. Ooh. And Sierra is a mountain lion. So we have the perfect song to remind. Do you remember? Like perfect? Oh, oh, Do you get oh, it? Oh, got get it. it. Oh, got it. That was a joke. Was a joke. <laughs> we have the perfect song to remind us to be bold like a mountain lion, like Sierra. Wow. The song uses the word inhibitions. Now that's kind of a long word, right? Mm -hmm. So inhibitions basically means things that make us shy or not bold. So let's sing the song now. my new favorite VBS song. What do you think? I think so too. That was so good. If you like that song, let me hear you roar like a mountain lion. Roar! Oh man, good roaring. So that's actually all for our sing and play today. Um, I had an awesome time learning our Bible point. Thanks so much, Malik, for letting us meet our Bible memory buddy, Sierra the mountain lion. So you know what? Have a good fun day and I will see you at Rocky Wrap Up. Bye! Bye. Welcome to Day 5 Bible Venture. You all just came just in time to hear Jesus' disciples. Peter and John have an incredible story about how Jesus' power helps people, which we haven't heard yet. And I'm sure you haven't heard either. So let's get right into it. John? That's right. We were just asking Jesus to help us be bold. But now it's time to tell you all about what happened literally just a few hours ago. Yeah. We were walking up to go to the temple in Jerusalem and John noticed a group of men begging for money outside the temple. When he saw us, he put out his hands expecting some money from us. But instead, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, now walk. Then I took the crippled man and helped him up 
and he jumped to his feet and began walking around and praising God. Wow, that's amazing. What an awesome God we serve. You know, just hearing your story makes me want to praise God right now. Why don't we all dance to some music and praise God? Think of something you want to praise God for. It can be anything. Like praising Him that you got up this morning, or that you could have breakfast, or for your family and friends. I'm going to find some music and you can dance along to it. There's a spirit I cannot contain. There's a spirit I cannot contain. The same power that raised Jesus up from the grave. The same spirit I cannot contain. Really fun dancing. We were all busting out our moves too. Isn't it fun praising God? The Lord is so good. Ooh, that took a lot out of me. I think I need to sit down. It's okay, Ananias. You can take a seat. We still have half the story to complete. Really? You mean it's not over yet? No, we're just getting to the good part. So, while everyone is praising God, Peter gave a speech. Yeah, I proclaimed in a loud voice for everyone that. We didn't heal the crippled man, but it was Jesus Christ who healed him. When some of the leaders of the temple heard that what I said, they became really, really upset. You see, the leaders at the temple did not believe that Jesus healed the crippled man because they thought Jesus was a liar and anyone who followed Jesus was a liar too. This caused the leaders in the temple to become angry. You know what? They became so angry at us, they put us in prison for a night. Do you believe in Jesus? Have you ever been made fun of about Jesus because people didn't believe in him? You know my friend John? Did you know that we, while we were in prison, I mean if you're sad or angry or anything, we were so happy because people came to know Jesus Christ. That's right. Over 5,000 people came to believe in Jesus. Wow! Peter's boldness about Jesus Whoa. ended up bringing people to believe in him. You know, my friend, my brother John, you know, when we were in prison, we didn't feel sad or angry or we weren't afraid of anything. In fact, we were so happy because so many people came to know Jesus Christ in person. That's right! Yeah. Over 5,000 people came to believe in Jesus. Wow! Peter's boldness about awesome. Jesus awesome. ended up bringing people to believe in him. So, in a situation where we should have been afraid, it was Jesus Christ who gave us the power to be bold. Right, John? Right. And, and it was intimidating to share Jesus, of course, but it, it was really fun and it was really uh, rewarding. We should always, always remember it's Jesus and His Holy Spirit who gives us power to share His name to other people. And to help us be bold. Yes. In the morning, while we were still in prison, the guards took us back to the temple leaders. Oh, and since yeah. we never did anything wrong by telling others about Jesus, they had to let us go. Wow! What an incredible story. Guys, I think we should all pray to ask for boldness too. What do you think? Okay, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for helping Peter be bold today. And help us to believe in you and be bold when we are sharing our faith with our family and friends. Amen. Well, thanks for visiting, guys. Be sure to come back next time. And remember, Jesus' power helps us be bold. Welcome to day five of Imagination Station.
today's Bible point is Jesus' power helps us be bold. And so today's passage looks at Peter and John healing a crippled man who was also a beggar. And this man, he couldn't move his arms or his legs and praise the Lord like the rest of us. But when Peter and John healed this man through Jesus' power, he was able to dance and sing and worship the Lord all over again, and they were able to boldly share the gospel. So today we'll be making a really quick craft of a puppet to show that the lame man could dance after he was healed. So let's take a look at our materials really quickly. So in our day five kits, you should have a cutout of the man's legs with his feet hole punched, his head uh, with another hole punch at the top, his body, a gold pin, popsicle stick, and his body, which will be the green cup, and you'll see slits on the side like this. You'll also find three pieces of twine that are like this. One should be a little shorter than the other two pieces. Take a minute right now to grab a pair of scissors if you've got it in another room. You're also gonna need some glue, but if you don't have glue, you could use some tape and vice versa as well. Okay, so let's get started. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the body, the arms, and the rectangle, and this is his torso, and we're also going to take his legs. And so you want to leave a little bit of room so that there's space between the torso and the body. And we're going to take our gold pin, and you're just going to poke a hole. It's very sharp, so be careful. You just have to dig a little bit until you make a hole like this. And then you're going to push, and then flip your man over, and you're going to press down on the legs of the gold pin, just like this. And now, his body can dance side to side just like that. So, this is a bit of a trickier part. What you're going to do is you're going to fit the man into the cup. So, you might have to fold him up a little bit, that's okay, it's like putting, in, putting on a shirt in the morning. So you're just going to pop his arm out, his hand first, and just pull. Be gentle so you don't rip it, and you're gonna have to be patient through this process. Take the other hand and stick it through the slit just like this, and then pull out his hand, give it a little tug, and there you go, his arms are now out of the cup and he's wearing his little robe. If you want, you could put buttons or a collar, and you can see his legs being able to dance, just like that. And now we're going to attach the head. So, you're going to fold the neck, just like that. You see this little excess bit of the neck? You're gonna fold that back, fold it nice with the flap, and then you could either take glue or tape. I'm actually gonna tape Take tape right now just so it saves us a little bit of time. But take your tape and just stick him onto the top, just like that. He can sit for a little while while he's waiting. And then you're just going to tape it down to the cup. Give it a little tug. And there you go, you've got his little head sticking. So now it might get a little bit tricky. Or you know what, actually I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to the bottom of the neck. So now we're gonna take, take your two longest pieces of twine. So you'll find that one of them is a little bit short. This one's my shorter piece. These two should be relatively longer. And you're going to thread the string of the twine through the holes at the feet, okay? Nice and easy. And if you need a little bit of help with the knots, just take extra time. You're gonna make a knot, just like that, through the loop, and then pull both ends, just like that. Great, now we're gonna do the same with the other piece of string that we have. You're gonna put that through the hole, and then make a really quick knot just like that, through the hole, and then you're going to pull. Great, so make sure you have a good tug. And then, the other end of the string is going to attach to the popsicle stick, okay? So I'm just gonna tie the popsicle stick like this. 
Same concept, you want another knot. Tighten, tighten. You want to make a double knot, you can also double knot. Just like that. And then we're going to take the other end. Oh no, this end seems to be a little bit shorter, but that's okay. You can just take tape this time. If the string doesn't seem to be long enough, you can simply add tape to the other side. That's totally fine. And if you don't have tape, you can just undo the knot and uh, retie it with a longer length. But just like that now. And if you've got a little bit of excess, that's okay. You can cut it just like that. And the final piece is you're going to tie the string to his head. Just like that. I'm gonna knot it, same thing that we did for the feet. Through the hole and pull. Tight. Tie. But instead of tying, I'm just gonna tape it again. So cut the excess. Take another strip of tape. We're going to tape it to the back. <gasps> okay, there you go. This is your puppet. Great job. And now he can dance and he can sing with us and we're worshiping the Lord. And so let's remember today's Bible point that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys tomorrow. everyone welcome to another day of games so in your kits today you will find a pool noodle fun 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 and a cup so this game is called cup noodle now you're gonna put the pool noodle into the cup and we are going to try to balance it so you can try to balance it right now but the rule is it has to be on your open palm okay you're not allowed to hold the cup all right, so let's try to balance it right now for five seconds. Ready, set, go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Oh no, that was quite challenging, wasn't it? Not an easy game. So let's try that one more time. Let's try to balance it again, but this time we're going to do it with one leg up. Ready, set, go. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Ooh. Okay, now let's try doing this with our eyes closed for five seconds. Ready, set, go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Oh, that was quite hard, wasn't it? Um, let's try squatting. Oh no. Ready, set, go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Oh, that was a disaster. <laughs> All right. That was quite hard, guys, wasn't it? Balancing it with your hands. So let's try actually this tip I'm gonna give you. You have to look up at the pool noodle while you guys balance it in your hands. So you guys ready? And go! One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three four Mississippi, five. Ooh, good job! So did you guys find it easier when you looked up at the pool noodle? In so much easier. Yeah, instead of your cup? So, this is a lesson to say that when things get difficult in your life and you're going through some challenges, you don't just look at yourself and the disaster around you. You look up at God and you have faith in Him and to trust Him through those challenges. And He will bring you through. Good job, guys. Yay.
Welcome back to Kid Vid Cinema. I'm really glad to see you. Here at Kid Vid Cinema, we've been seeing true stories of real kids just like you. These kids are trusting in Jesus' power to pull them through life's ups and downs. When life is up, that means it's happy and good. Can everyone do a thumbs up like this? What is something that makes your day up or happy and good? Can everyone do a thumbs down like this? What's something that makes your day down? Whether life is up or down, we can trust that Jesus will give us the power to get through. I'm glad that today we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus! Let's watch today's video and see what, what being bold can look like. Today, you'll get to meet Lauren who trusts Jesus to help boldly share his love. Let's see how she does it. Meet Lauren. She's your pretty typical kid. She loves Legos and animals. These are freshwater fish. Mine is peaches. My brother's is Green Lantern. My sister's is Uma. She loves learning. My favorite subject in school is writing. I did write. This is kind of like a comic book. She also loves cruising around her basement on her scooter and bouncing on trampolines. Lauren also serves Jesus in a big, bold way by serving at her local food kitchen. I saw all the people who didn't have food, so I wanted to help them. My first time I served in Community Kitchen, I tried it in California and I wanted to do it here. So I told my mom and she found a place and she said I can go. First thing, she meets with her crew to get a plan for the day. It feels nice and it feels like God want me to do this because it's important that people who don't have very much things, that we need to care for them. I am the drink and dessert person. When I do desserts, I walk back and forth taking down desserts and putting them on a table. Once everything is set up, they say a prayer before everyone is served. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the food that we have done. It's time to start serving. When they start, we have to pour the drinks. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, isn't it cool to see Lauren's boldness as she serves and meets all these grown-ups? You're welcome. We serve juice, we serve milk, and we serve coffee, hot chocolate. It makes me feel bold when I show them that I care about them and that they are important and that we should care for them. And they are always happy when I'm there. That makes me feel good. Thank you. Welcome. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Welcome. Lauren enjoys serving so much, she invites others to serve with her. My brother wants to go with me, so he'll come next time. In the Bible, the book of Isaiah tells us, He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. God has given me the power to show people that they matter and that it's kind to care for people who need stuff and who are just on the streets, who don't have food, who don't have homes, they need stuff and I got the power from God to show them that they matter. Jesus' power helps us be bold. I really liked Lauren's story, didn't you? I thought she was really brave and bold for such a young girl. Sometimes, stepping out and boldly showing Jesus' love can make us feel nervous. 
I think serving food in a community like Lauren does make me feel a little nervous. Meeting new people from the community who don't have enough to eat and learning new responsibilities might be a little scary. But being able to help people who are less fortunate would be great. What do you think it would be like to serve food to hungry people? What would you like about it? Is there anything you would not like? Thanks for sharing everyone. I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of a quiet, shy person, so it's not easy for me to step out of my comfort zone and try new things. Have you ever wanted to help someone, but something kept you from doing it? Maybe you wanted to tell someone at school about Jesus, but you were too shy. Or maybe you wanted to offer to pray for someone, but you were afraid the person might make fun of you. Do you ever feel like that? Thanks for all your answers. Sometimes you may feel weak or powerless to help others, but Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. The Bible reminds us that Jesus gives us his power. There's a verse that's so perfect for today's video. Today's verse comes from Isaiah 40, 29. It says, He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Jesus' power can give us boldness that we wouldn't have on our own. Just look at Lauren. Jesus' power helped her meet new people, serve them, and talk to them. And now Lauren is giving power and strength to hungry people. That's so cool. So let's take the verse to heart today. Let's think of a really bold way you could serve others and show your faith in Jesus. Think of a way you could boldly serve Jesus and others. Remember, think boldly. Thank you guys for coming to Kibbit Cinema today. I encourage you to come back next time to watch more real stories about real kids like you. I'll see you next time. Bye. spoke boldly about the gospel. Um, so our snack for today will remind us to speak boldly for Christ. So today we are making a little nut. So before we touch anything, um, please wash your hands so you don't get any germs on your food. So after you wash your hands, uh, take out your snack kit, and in the snack kit, you will have a rice cracker, mini marshmallows, a bag of icing, and also, if you have, take a butter knife and a pair of scissors to help you. So, after you wash your hands, take your rice cracker and your butter knife, and ask an adult if you need help. And Cut the butter knife, the rice cracker in half. After you've done that, take your bag of icing and use scissors. You might need an adult to help you with this as well. And cut the tip of the bag. After you've done that, Take your two halves of the rice cracker and ice, put icing on the edge of the rice cracker. Once you've got a good amount on the edge, take your butter knife and just smooth it down. Then do it to the other side. Now once you've done that, take your marshmallows, your mini marshmallows, and put it on each on uh, the side of the cracker. So
so the icing will act as a glue to hold everything together. Just put on, on the sides. Now once you've done that, take the other end of the rice cracker that doesn't have the marshmallows and stick it on top, but on an angle so that you can see the marshmallows. Now that you've done that, it's all done. Now you have a little mouth. So this is to remind us that we can use our words to speak boldly about Christ. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you had fun today. Hey kids, welcome to Rocky Wrap Up Day Oh man, five days in and I still get so excited for Rocky Wrap Up Day 5. It is so, so much fun. I hope you are having fun too. I hope. I mean, it would be terrible if you weren't. But I think you guys really are having a lot, a lot of fun. So let's get up and let's sing our theme song, Your Power of Pull Us Through. Let's dance. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. On this journey, there's no looking back. With Jesus to lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all today. But first, let me see you do a quick funny dance if you had fun today. Okay, so my dance was uh, probably not as funny as a lot of yours, but that's okay. Let's get up and let's sing our song Lions because we met our Bible memory buddy, Sierra, who was a mountain lion. 
she basically taught us that we have to be bold in our faith and we need to be able to just tell everyone and anywhere we are about Jesus' good news. So let's get up and let's sing Lion. Today we live trust we overcome take every chain that kept the slaves and throw them on we're not waiting for permission we defy our inhibition like a middle name is fearless son of red if we're gonna fly I love it. It's so fun. Jesus's power helps us be bold and to speak out to others when things are hard or when we want to share things with them or to share God's good news with them. Our Bible point for today is that Jesus's power helps us be bold. Sierra taught us that and I hope that from here on that we are able to really, really be bold and to look to Jesus whenever we need help. Thank you so much for making this train journey in the Rockies rock. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Let's have fun today and tomorrow. Woohoo! Choo choo! Bye, kids!